Hey guys, Color Out Camper Man Brian here. So I am headed on a truck camper trip and I'm just taking a little pit stop here by this uh, Round Mountain campground. Here's a truck camper, got the basket. The generator is in here. A little Harbor Freight generator, that's just a cooler and then obviously there's the fuel for the generator. Got the truck camper all loaded up. Got it up on the truck. I got these uh, big mirrors, tow mirrors over the summertime, and man, that makes a huge difference when I have the truck camper on. But I'm extremely excited to be going. I've worked basically every day since the end of October. It is now December 11th, and uh, I am so excited to get up to the mountains and start this snowboarding season uh, with a bang with the truck camper. So. Going to be going up to Copper Mountain here for a few days, and I'm going to bring you guys along on my journey. So enjoy. If you guys are ever uh, wondering if South Park, Colorado is real, it is. Mr. Hanky, Christmas poo. There's the old South Park. Up a mountain. Man, they need some snow. They definitely need snow. Just got done doing storm is rolling in. I'm supposed to get up to a foot by tomorrow night. Here's the setup we have back here. Got a little bit of space. Guy over there with the camper. Gonna get some soup made up here, have a little bit of lunch. So I went ahead and bubble wrapped all the windows in here. But one of the major downsides is you can't see out your windows in. So while my windows are a lot better insulated, as I'm eating my lunch, I would love to be able to look out my window there and see the mountain. So I might do the saran wrap. These also are not sealed very well. You can see the blue tape is starting to come up, which is kind of what I figured it might do. This tape, I use the blue tape versus white painter's tape, because white painter's tape over time will leave a sticky residue, and the blue stuff will not. However, it does this. It pops up, it doesn't stick well. And I'm sure when we get some people sleeping in here, and we get all that condensation, that stuff's going to come off. So for now, we're going to enjoy our beer. The last pump kick that I have for the season. going to have some soup. Got the Mr. Heater going. It is getting nice and warm in here. Oh, I am truck camping here at Copper. <clears throat> and... Check it out, 66 degrees in here, only 23 outside, hopefully you can read that. And that's all from this uh, Mr. Heater. I'm also cooking some pizzas, waiting for my buddies to get here, I'm just hanging out, having a beer, watching the Shawshank Redemption, awesome movie. Yeah, just chilling. It's very warm in here. And I think uh, bubble wrapping the windows was an extremely good idea. Um, 
I'll get the thermometer out a little bit later, but uh, I mean, it's, it's just it's not cold. Like when, when I used to put my hand up here, up against this window, I could feel the cold. I don't feel it anymore. I mean, it's just a massive difference. I think it's working really well. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't lying. People actually did come. Yay! Suck <laughs> up! Seasonal lighting here. Seasonal lighting. Christmas lights. Oh yeah. Can't really see them up there. There we go. Yeah. Snowed a good four inches probably last night. Still snowing pretty hard. We got the Christmas lights going. People are sleeping in here. Ah! Brian's ready. Our Christmas lights. <laughs> Went uh, snowboarding here up at Copper, just having some lunch. Uh, it's Saturday, and went yesterday, Friday, and then we snowboarded today. And uh, my buddies just left. I'm just having some lunch, and then I'm gonna roll on out of here. Having some uh, mac and cheese that I cooked up. Another truck camper adventure in the books thanks for joining and we'll see you guys on the next trip